from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. An update on fluctuating COVID-19 numbers in Henrico County and the latest on vaccination efforts. And some changes are finally coming to one of Henrico's busiest intersections. That's all coming up on today's Henrico News Minute. It's Monday, January 25th, 2021, and it's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. Well, the number of new COVID-19 cases in Henrico County has been on a wild ride the last eight days. The county set all-time highs back-to-back days of 326 and 320 cases on January 16th and 17th then fell all the way down to 120 on January 21st, and since then has seen three days of increasing numbers back to 180 new cases announced yesterday by the Virginia Department of Health in Henrico. Over the past week, the county is now averaging 186 new daily cases. Henrico has also reported four new deaths since Friday and 10 new hospitalizations related to the virus. County's positivity percentage of 11.2 among PCR testing encounters and 9.4% among antigen testing encounters or rapid tests are both below the state averages for those testing types. So far in Henrico, almost 20,000 people have received at least the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. About 2,700 of those also have received their second dose. Henrico is second in the state in terms of total number of vaccinations given so far, trailing only Fairfax County, the largest locality in the state. Mass vaccinations will resume at Richmond Raceway Complex on Tuesday. We don't yet know how many doses the county has received for this week. We expect to find that out later today. The mass vaccination events are being held at the raceway for Henrico, Hanover, Richmond, and Goochland County teachers and public safety officials. A number of Henrico teachers who had time scheduled for this week were informed that their time slots will be delayed by at least a week. That reflects the lower than expected number of doses that are being distributed statewide. The state is receiving about 105,000 doses each of the next several weeks, according to state vaccination coordinator Danny Avula, who is also the Henrico Health Department's director. The state is distributing doses at a proportional level, locality by locality, based upon their populations. Two decades of consideration, some changes are coming to the intersection of Parham Road and Patterson Avenue in Henrico's West End. The state's Commonwealth Transportation Board last week awarded a contract for $6.6 million to add dual left turn lanes at the intersection, as well as other safety improvements. Two left-hand turn lanes at both Patterson Avenue approaches and extending the eastbound right turn lane are part of the project. Additionally, two left turn lanes will be installed at the northbound approach on Parham Road as well as a right turn only lane. The median on southbound Parham at Weatherly Drive will be closed to allow more vehicles to use the left turn lane. The contract was awarded to Allen Myers VA Incorporated of Glen Allen. The project also will add pedestrian sidewalks along Parham Road on the east side, south of Patterson Avenue, and on the west side, north of the intersection. At the intersection, crosswalks will be provided to cross both Patterson and Parham. Construction will start in a few months and end sometime in the fall of 2022. Traffic will continue with at least one lane open in each direction throughout the entirety of the project. A few Henrico schools are expected to be redistricted on Thursday when the school board meets again. The board is expected to vote on proposals that would redistrict portions of the River's Edge, Colonial Trail, and Twin Hickory Elementary School boundaries in the far west end and also establish some new boundaries for Holiday Elementary School, which will double in size in time for the coming school year. Now, if you want to learn more about whether your community is involved in one of the proposed shifts, you can visit henricoschools.us backslash redistricting. All of the changes would take effect beginning in the fall. The school board held a public forum on the matter January 14th, but no one spoke publicly in support or in opposition to the specific proposals. There were four people who submitted written comments. 
Well, the Virginia Senate is soon planning to consider a bill that would give low to middle income students a chance to attend community college tuition free under a plan called the G3 initiative that was unanimously approved by the Education and Health Committee last Thursday. Virginia Governor Ralph Northam first introduced the plan in December of 2019. The bill would allow any low to middle income student who applies for financial aid to receive full tuition coverage at any of Virginia's 23 community colleges. It also would provide an extra grant for low income students to cover additional costs for transportation, food security, and child care. The plan aims to provide jobs for high demand areas defined in the bill as, quote, a discipline or field in which there is a shortage of skilled workers to fill current and anticipated additional job vacancies, end quote, as determined by the Virginia Board of Workforce Development. Now, the Finance and Appropriations Committee is set to discuss the bill this week. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Henrico County's Spread the Love Valentine's Day card initiative sponsored by the Henrico County Engage program, which is inviting you to help make homemade Valentine's cards for the 8,000 long-term care residents in Henrico County. Cards are due by Friday, February 5th. For details, visit henrico.us backslash services backslash seniors.